They say you should never underestimate a woman, especially a confident, mature woman. These formidable women in sci-fi will make you regret crossing any of them. Welcome to the Multicultural Sci-Fi Organization, MCSFO. Today, we'll look at our picks for the top 10 mature women in sci-fi. For this list, we'll be celebrating some of our favorite matriarchs across the genre. Number 10, The Oracle from The Matrix. There's never been a more omniscient African-American female character in science fiction than The Oracle. Caregiver to the universe and Neo's guiding star, the Oracle is depicted as the chain-smoking grandmother figure ever ready with a batch of cookies. She possesses the power of foresight, which she uses to advise and guide the humans attempting to fight the Matrix. The mother of the Matrix was first played graciously by the late Gloria Foster, who set the tone for the first two Matrix films. Unfortunately, she passed away around the time she was filming the second sequel, Reloaded, in 2001. The Oracle was a central character, and the role was continued by the lovely Mary Alice in the third sequel. It was refreshing to see an African-American matriarch in science fiction still creating viable, important film work. We can only hope the Wachowskis follow that same formula by casting an older female actress in the upcoming Matrix 4. Number 9. Madam President Laura Roslin from Battlestar Galactica. When it comes to civil rights, military commanders, and sneaky Cylons, this soft-spoken but ruthless president won't back down without a fight. A school teacher turned Secretary of Education, Laura Roslin, played by Mary McDonald, reluctantly finds herself next in line as president after a devastating attack by the Cylons killing the current president and the 12 colonies. And like all of us, Madam President had her flaws. And despite dealing with her own deep personal struggles, she still embodies female empowerment and diplomacy while leading the broken and battered United Colonies of Cobalt. And the role of President Laura Roslin was written into Battlestar Galactica for the sole purpose of adding McDonald to the series. Intentionally casting a mature woman to play the president was an important but bold move for screenwriter Ronald D. Moore. And while we were all debating if the country was ready for a female president in 2008, Battlestar Galactica was already showing us fictional visions of what that could look like. Number eight, Dr. Grace Augustine from Avatar. In the fantasy genre, older women are usually portrayed as either the evil old witch or the sweet godmother. And while we love our witches, it's time we balance that out with intelligent female engineers, or in this case, a scientist. Dr. Grace Augustine, played by the queen of sci-fi, Sigourney Weaver, is a xenobotanist in charge of the Avatar program. Similar to her iconic role as Ripley in the Alien franchise, as Dr. Augustine, Weaver was a nurturer and a protector as she spent years learning the Navi culture and teaching their children and risking her life to protect them. And it is confirmed we'll see Sigourney Weaver again in the upcoming sequel, but it's not yet known exactly in what capacity. We'll just have to be patient as Avatar 2 isn't expected till December 2022 or later. And as she ages gracefully, Sigourney Weaver continues to be a symbol of courage and gender equality strong leading women like her remain a potent example of the need for more roles for mature female actors being present in the future. Number seven, Deputy Minister Mason from Snowpiercer. Over the years, we've been accustomed to seeing mostly men play the evil weasel-like villains, but veteran character actress Tilda Swinton can play these types of roles in her sleep, and she probably does. For 17 years, Minister Mason has been the second in command aboard the Snowpiercer train and the creepy looking henchman for its creator, Wilford. And aside from scaring everyone on board with those teeth, her main job that she seemed to take pleasure in was coming up with colorful ways to remind the have nots where their place was in the back of the train and far away from the rich people at the front. Director Bong Joon Ho originally wrote the character of Minister Mason for John C. Riley as a mild-mannered man in a suit. But in this most surprising gender swap, Swinton was transformed into the barely recognizable Margaret Thatcher-like matriarch, leaving us all speechless. Tilda Swinton embodies this character in the weirdest way, making this one of her most memorable roles to date. Tilda Swinton continues to find diverse roles to transform into, and at the tender age of 60, shows no signs of slowing down. Number six, 
Carol Peltier from The Walking Dead. Carol has one of the most inspiring journeys, not just in The Walking Dead, but in most sci-fi stories. Reminiscent of her female sci-fi predecessors, Sarah Connor and Ripley, Carol didn't start out as a hardened warrior, but it's a great weapon to have in a zombie apocalypse. Carol was first introduced in the comics in 2003 and is portrayed by Melissa McBride in the television series in 2010 as a meek, naive, battered housewife and a mother at a survival camp in Atlanta, Georgia. A relatable character who has gone through years of unsurmountable pain and struggle, Carol used the death of her daughter and abusive relationship to transform herself into a new woman who will do whatever it takes to survive. Carol is the longest living female character in the series and is one of the longest members of the original group. It's inspiring for women of all ages to see an older female character last this long in a series and not get killed off or replaced by a younger actress. Number five, Sarah Connor from Terminator Dark Fate. Not many science fiction action heroines can return to their most iconic role over 30 years later with the same six pack. And no matter how many young Sarah Connors they find, none can hold a flair to the original. Sarah Connor, played by Linda Hamilton, is the mother of John Connor, a future leader of the resistance from a previous timeline. But in the latest installment, Terminator Dark Fate, She's a tough but battle-hardened senior on her usual quest to obliterate any Terminator that drops into her space-time. As female actors are given more opportunities to have a lasting, sustainable career in Hollywood, we'll begin to see more roles written for mature women. When not invisible, older women are seen as the feeble, helpless victim, and older actresses are often passed up for younger women in most sci-fi films. But seeing a mature, badass woman like Linda Hamilton reprise her role helps broaden our perception of what women over 50 can look like. Number four, Princess Leia from Star Wars. Since 1977, Leia has been an example of the transformation women have gone through over the years. From the damsel in distress, to the warrior who strikes back, to the more regal, elder Queen Leia, who's still crushing stereotypes. Played by the late Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia Organa was one of the Rebel Alliance's greatest leaders, fearless on the battlefield and dedicated to ending the tyranny of the Empire. Although Carrie Fisher was just 19 years old when she first started this galactic journey, she was 54 years old when she reprised her role in the 2015 film Star Wars The Force Awakens. And it's a good thing Carrie Fisher was such a cultural icon. It would have been a sin to replace her with our younger actress. The real hero of Star Wars Princess Leia was the spark of the resistance. Over the years, Carrie Fisher was the ultimate Princess Leia. She embodied strength, independence, and was revered by women and men of all ages. Number three, Fennec Shand from Mandalorian. Continuing in the same galaxy far, far, far away is the deadliest weapon you'll find on any planet. Played by Ming-Na Wen, Fennec Shand is a former human female assassin and mercenary who crafted her lethal reputation working for many of the top crime syndicates. You may remember Wen from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but she was just warming up on that show. Her portrayal of Fennec Shand is one of the most memorable and formidable characters in the series. Introduced in the fifth episode in season one, at just five foot four inches tall and 107 pounds, this skilled assassin took out a team of stormtroopers in minutes. As the first major on-screen Asian female Star Wars character, Ming-Na Wen is perfectly cast as Fennec Shand. After so many years of using Asian cultural references and imagery, it's nice to finally see more Asian actors and characters in science fiction storytelling. And not only is Ming-Na Wen an incredible actress, the 57-year-old never looks so good, providing another example of why we need more diverse characters for a growing number of youthful, physically fit, mature female actors like her. Number two, Emperor Philippa Giorgio from Star Trek Discovery. From one Asian female badass to another, veteran actress Michelle Young is still hitting high points in her career. Michelle Young plays Philippa Giorgio in Star Trek Discovery. Captain Giorgio started out as a Starfleet officer and rose to the rank of captain. But we're first introduced to her insult-slinging and sinister doppelganger, Emperor Giorgio from the parallel universe where she's the ruler of the Terran Empire. Although we see more of Emperor Giorgio, Young does a great job infusing bits of Captain Giorgio's personality as she's influenced by Michael Burnham. 
She's so beloved and talented on the show that it's almost confirmed if Giorgio will be getting her own spinoff series. And if that's not enough Star Trek rumor news for you, it's also rumored that Star Trek Discovery may be beaming up to Netflix. Most may remember Michelle Young from the non-sci-fi action adventure Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But you may be surprised to know Michelle Young has been in a ton of sci-fi and fantasy films. And this veteran actress is just catching her second win as she has seven more sci-fi films coming out next year in addition to the possible rumored series. Young will be joining Sigourney Weaver in Avatar 2 and in fact she's locked in for all of the sequels 2 through 5. Also look for her in Marvel Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings and sci-fi thriller Boss Level. Michelle is also starring with Halloween Scream Queen Jamie Lee Curtis in the sci-fi film Everything Everywhere All at Once. Before we share our top pick, take a look at some honorable mentions. Number one, Christian Avasarala from The Expanse. It's very easy for stereotypes of characters seen in movies and shows to seep into our subconscious and influence our actions in real life. But in this show, both the character and the actress breaks all of Hollywood's stereotypical molds. Emmy Winashoda Adashlu plays former Secretary General of the United Nations, Her Excellency Christian Avasarala, on the sophisticated political space series, The Expanse. A deeply complex woman, Avasarala is known as a ruthless, manipulative, high-ranking politician and is focused on her goals for the common good but is merciless and will do whatever it takes when defending humanity's survival. In 2004, this Iranian-American actress became the first woman from the Middle East to be nominated for an Oscar. And she also became the first Iranian woman to win an Emmy. And she probably thought landing a role where she's not playing a terrorist was gonna be the biggest milestone. You may also recognize Akash Lu from X-Men The Last Stand and Star Trek Beyond. And you know you're bad when you can get past these barriers in Hollywood as a woman, a woman of color, a foreign woman of color, and a foreign woman of color of a particular age. What do you think of our list? Do you agree? Who would you add to this list of mature women in sci-fi? For more videos on some of the greatest top 10 lists in the world of science fiction, be sure to subscribe to MCSFO and turn on all notification alerts.